former Dutch international footballer sentenced to six years in prison for drug trafficking. Quincy Proms, a former football player for the Netherlands and a former target of Manchester United, was given a six-year prison sentence in absentia for cocaine trafficking. The 32-year-old, who plays for Spartak Moscow in the Russian Premier League, was found to have been engaged in the import and export of hundreds of kilos of cocaine in 2020, according to a ruling by the Amsterdam District Court. Proms, who resides in Moscow, is not anticipated to visit the Netherlands anytime soon and did not attend his trial in the nation's capital. Due to his role in the smuggling of 1,360 kilograms of cocaine into the Netherlands through the port of Antwerp in Belgium throughout two shipments, prosecutors had requested courts to sentence him to nine years in prison. The court stated that phone tapping evidence demonstrated Proms's direct involvement in the drug shipments, which were masked as shipments of Brazilian salt and their subsequent transportation from the port. A written ruling from the court also said that Proms, a highly compensated football player with a large following on social media, became engaged in the drug importation. This makes it even more objectionable that the suspect tries to increase his wealth, and possibly also prestige in certain circles, through involvement in large international drug transports, the court said. Proms's attorneys informed judges that he refuted the accusations of importing, exporting, carrying, and owning the narcotics. The football player will appeal his punishment, they informed the Dutch tabloid AD. In a different Dutch court case from 2020, he stabbed his cousin in the knee during a dispute and was found guilty of assault last year, receiving an 18-month jail term in absentia. Additionally, Proms has appealed that sentence. The former Ajax and Sevilla forward made 50 appearances and scored seven times for the Dutch national side, but was struck from the team after he was charged with trafficking in 2021, 